Hi guys! So, the moment has finally arrived. I don't know why I have been postponing it for so long, but here I am. I want to finally talk to you about coaching and my experience with it, what brought me to start practicing it, and it's just something that I'm so passionate about that I think I'm so afraid to like not give it justice, but I will try to make it as structured as possible and to answer as many questions and doubts as I have gotten in the past months when I started being vocal about it online. So I will start shortly with my story. I have posted videos on this channel about my mental health journey and so on, and it started as my mental health journey diary um, in a way. But just to recap, because of course, as you grow older, you reevaluate some things. And so it's good to sometimes come back and repeat some things, I think. So <laughs> it started a very, very, very long time ago. So I have struggled with very many things throughout my life, a depression, a suicidal thoughts, eating disorders and stuff like that. And then when I was about 23 or 22, I had a very, very huge mental breakdown and I was almost um, internalized in a mental hospital and I was forced to take medicine and I was very suicidal and I was hurting myself and it, it, was, it was a mess. I had a very like full-blown mental breakdown, which um, led to me being falsely diagnosed with um, borderline personality disorder, which I didn't have. And this is how this channel started. I never had borderline, but I thought that I did because uh, my psychiatrist told me so. I had complex post-traumatic stress disorder, which I found out later, which has very similar symptoms, but it's a trauma response, while borderline is kind of like a personality disorder, which you kind of get bored with. So um, long story short, I was forced, well, I wasn't forced, I wanted to. So I took very intense therapy for a year or so and after a year my psychiatrist slash psychotherapist at the time told me that she cannot do anything else for me because i was technically absolutely sane and psychologically stable and i couldn't fit any diagnostic criteria so she <laughs> said goodbye to me in the sense of like anna i cannot do anything for you anymore so she let me go or i let her go we part our ways said our goodbyes and yeah, so I was so much better than obviously I was before. I didn't have any symptoms. I was doing more or less well, but I didn't have, feel happy at all. And I was very unsatisfied because I was still lost and I was still confused about many things in life. And I couldn't, I couldn't do therapy anymore because it, it wasn't helping. Because she was like, "Well, Anna, it's more like it's it's just normal. You cannot do anything well. Like you're you're just going to be like this. Just accept it. It's life." And I was like, but no, this, it cannot be. And I was very frustrated. And I think for about a year or so, I was kind of hibernating. I don't remember, like a year just passed by. Nothing happened throughout a year because I was just there thinking about this cannot be it. Like I refuse to believe that this is going to be the rest of my life and that I cannot improve myself or my life in any possible way. And I always wanted to have like a female figure to look up to. Then when the student is ready, the teacher appears and I got in contact with my current facilitator, which I am working with her for three years now. And it was the best thing that happened to me in my life because it has absolutely changed my entire world. I, I came to her and I was like, everything's fine. I don't have any diagnosis, but I'm not happy because I don't know what to do with my life and I'm confused and I was all stressed. I was so stressed that I didn't have my period, like too much information, but like for a year, just because I was, I, I was there like, what is this? Like, like I was completely lost as I'm telling you. Uh, she has a psychological education, but she is not working in a like classic psychology field. And we were doing a lot of different energy things and a lot of kind of going very deep, like going into the subconscious and so on. And it was very intense. Like I have calculated that I have had I think, five or 700 hours of like therapy throughout my life. And my life has changed so much. Like when I look at myself three years ago and I look at myself now, it's just two absolutely different people. And I cannot even begin to say how much this like process of facilitation or coaching has changed my entire life. So here we are coming to the part where I try to explain 
how I think coaching is different from psychology and why I prefer for myself the first one, so the coaching. Psychology is a science that is relatively new and it has a lot of different branches and uh, it has done a lot of good to me as well. Like I don't want to discard psychology at all because I wouldn't be here uh, if it weren't for psychology and psychiatry and so on. So obviously it works, but I think that it is more uh, targeted towards healing people who have disorders in not targeting like the wholeness of a personality, which I think is the key to everything in life. So you have to approach your life from many different directions. So you have to take care of your body, your mind, your spirit, your brain. Like it, it has to be a balance. And in psychology, there are different schools of thought that sometimes contradict each other. And I didn't find any specialist who would work integrally. So usually it's like two or three different techniques. So for example, a person can be specialized in cognitive behavioral therapy and like hypnosis. It's usually like one, two or three different things. And in my experience, the way that I was working with my facilitator and the way that I am now working with my clients is using a lot of different techniques from a lot of different sources in not only psychology, but also as I said, like energy work and breath work and meditation and some techniques that are adapted from like yogic and Buddhist practices, which I think is kind of the key. Doesn't matter. I, I will get to it later. Yeah, psychology can be very kind of boxed. And I'm saying it, as I said, I, I have a lot of respect for it. And I think that it still has a lot to grow and to integrate and to learn. And I really don't like the idea of putting people in boxes according to their di diagnosis because a person is a whole universe. And I think that it facilitates a lot kind of the ways that you want to help a person. So it's it's easier for the doctor to put a person in a box because then they have like a manual of how to treat them. But I think that they don't take into account that a person comes from very like each person comes from a very different background and as i said a person like is a universe so you cannot treat it as a diagnosis you should treat a person as a whole and this is also like what i base on and what the facilitator that i have been working with also is based on and i see it as the key to actually healing and not just kind of putting a band-aid on top of something because okay now i'm getting to the point <laughs> Uh, I believe in working with the core problem of everything. And usually it is somewhere in the subconscious. So it is either something from the childhood or something even from like before. Sometimes it's like some genetic memory or whatever. And a lot of the times when I work with my clients, they come to me with a very simple thing that they want to resolve. Like I, I want to be more organized. And they think that I I'm just going to give them like a ready made advice to organize the their day and then just go with, on with their lives and we get to a point where we get to like some really deep uh, beliefs that prohibit you from improving your life even if you intellectually know how to do that and this happens because we have a lot of different levels of our psyche let's say so there is a level of thought of thoughts of actions of beliefs of identity values uh, spirituality and it's like an iceberg so the behaviors thoughts and actions are at the top of the iceberg so what we see and if you want to try to just kind of forcefully change the behavior or thoughts or actions or words that we are saying it can work only in case you have already worked through the deeper lying causes such as values, beliefs, identities, and spirituality that trigger it because otherwise it's like when you want to weed your garden and you just take the top of the weed and the root is still there, like it will grow back because it's not like you didn't remove the root cause of it. So this is what I feel like lacks in a lot of different psychological schools of thought and don't get angry at me because as i said i respect psychology deeply and it does work for very many things but it has proven not sufficient just in my experience so yeah i i am really a fan of working on the level of beliefs and lower yeah so this is what where the coaching part starts since it is a an area that is growing 
very fast and it is very non-regulated so of course there is the international coaching federation which actually i got a certificate from and they do regulate like you have to pass an exam you have to go through um, a course you have to have people evaluate you you have to present the recordings of how you work with your clients you have to pass a theoretical test and so on and this is wonderful but still anyone can call themselves a coach basically which is something that uh, creates a lot of misunderstanding because just the fact that for example if you have managed to get somewhere in your life in the the way that it worked for you it doesn't necessarily mean that the same instruments will work for the other person because they're coming from a different place so in order to help other people even if you have achieved something it's not enough because you need to know like the theoretical basis behind it in order to be able to solve the same problem or help the other person solve the same problem with the different initial conditions. The idea of coaching parts from the knowledge that you already have within yourself. So no one can actually teach you the answers to the questions that you want to get. No one can actually make you make your life better. It's your job and no coach that is a good coach will tell you what to do or do things for you or take the responsibility for your life for you because this is not how it works. So coaching basically allows you to create like a safe and vulnerable space and work through the things that uh, prevent you from getting where you want to get. But it's only you who knows where you want to get and it's only you who knows how you can do it. Because for example, you can be very sure about the goal, but you can be unsure about the beat. For me, coaching is the perfect combination of kind of allowing you to just be you and become as you as it is humanly possible. So kind of remove every everything that was implanted in your head by the upbringing, by the society and so on that creates some limiting beliefs and some values that maybe are not yours and you have adopted. And it allows you to get to the core of who you actually are and what you actually want from life. And then it also works on the level of behaviors, of course, because the last step is always like, what are you going to do different from now on? And you create a plan of action, which is now aligned with your values that you have discovered that you already had. So, um, yeah, basically, I think I spoke about everything that I wanted to cover. I am very excited to hear if you have any questions. I have created a website, so if you are interested in working with me, I have now gotten a certification. I have enough hours of practice and I offer the first uh, session for free so that we can get to know each other and create a plan of uh, where we want to get and so on. I do not work with uh, like severe mental illness. So like if you have you know, schizophrenia or borderline personality disorder, let's say, or something, uh, this is not a case that a coach can treat because then you need to be medicated. You need to have therapy that is proven to work coaching is more for people who are like i'm lost and i don't know what to do with life and i need a person to kind of be my sounding board to understand how and where i want to get so what i do work with is for example if you are unhappy in your relationships or you have unfulfilling relationships or you're not in a relationship but you want to be or you're always in toxic relationships so like you have problems with people around you, not necessarily romantic relationships. It can be family, friends, uh, something at work. Yeah, that, that is something that I'm personally super interested in. So that's my favorite thing to work with. Then, of course, self-esteem. Like if you don't like the way that you look, or you, you want to change something, uh, you constantly talk negatively about yourself, you have problems with boundaries, you cannot say no, or you always say no to everything, but you want to say yes. I don't know what I'm doing with my life and I don't know where I'm headed and it feels like nothing has meaning and so on. This is also something that I work with. Uh, if you have some bad habits that you um, don't know how to ditch, if you feel like your job is not fulfilling and you want to change direction, but you don't know where to go with it. If you have burnout, if you're super stressed, so like, Basically, 
there are a lot of different things that it can help you with. I encourage you to leave your questions below if you have any more. I am super excited to talk about this topic. I can tell you more. I can tell you stories about my practice from the people who allow me to do so. I just love it. Also, I will link my website down below. I invite you, if you are interested or if you know someone who may benefit from it, to schedule a first free session with me and then we can see if we can work together or not. I will link my social media down below so you can write me your questions or you can write them in the comments. If there will be many questions, I will answer them in a separate video. Okay, I love you very much, guys. I will see you in the next videos and stay kind to yourselves and be kind to other people and bye.